One of the worst times in the history of the Illuminati was the 18th century because we weren't super dominant rulers like we were with um, the peasants in England because we had this religion. And also in Italy um, and everywhere when we had the Roman Empire that was so dominant and then we had the Dark Ages and it was really easy to keep people under control because people were so stupid back then, but then the eight, 18th century was sort of um, the, the the beginning of science, but then everyone was nuts. Like they would, it, they it, it was it was a it was the kind of time when peop, when women women would get burnt at the stake because they're witches. Um, it's the kind of time where people would believe in divine crap all the time. And nowadays, even Christians who believe in God more than anything, they don't even believe half the things that happen are miracles. Sometimes, yeah, my, my cousin got healed and we were all praying for him. It was a miracle. Some doctor said there was no chance. That's how Christians talk in America. No, no offense. Wait, no, well, it's not offensive. I love, I love Southern accents, but, um, all I'm saying is that's what Christians sound like. Anyway, so. My, my my point I'm trying to make is during the 18th century people were nuts including a lot of the founding fathers you have no idea what we had to do to make the constitution reasonable and if it wasn't for us the constitution would be not freedom of religion and it would it would definitely not have well actually we pretty much did the constitution but that doesn't didn't that doesn't change the situation that the constitution was be, being written in which was a, which was a situation in which a ton of black people were enslaved and it was god that was doing it and we were very grateful for god allowing us to whip our slaves not everyone but everyone but almost everyone believed that it was god that thought it was a good thing Every, a, a, pretty much everyone believed that women shouldn't have rights and you can tell me the founding fathers believed in women women's rights you're nuts when did women get the right to vote? After black men. It was like 1950. So all I'm saying is, this whole idea that, oh, I'm gonna pray to the founding fathers to tell me what they meant when they wrote the freaking constitution and that's the kind of lawyer I am. You're nuts. It doesn't mean you shouldn't read the constitution and, 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 and that like the constitution is an agreement that we all agree on, I mean, because it is, but um, it should, but that does mean that you should uh, use common sense when interpreting the Constitution, because we're not, a, we're not the type of people nowadays that will burn a witch at the stake because she's doing Satan's magic, obviously. Like, during the 18th, 18th century, I'd be dead right now. There's no way a guy who claims to be a clone of Satan, who's going to go take over Jerusalem because I am I'm not I mean seriously it's going to be an agreement but everyone's going to agree on one thing that dude has gone through the, the things people have said about that guy that are untrue the slander that has been said about that guy it's not going to be ignored that guy is going to be rewarded because he has lived a life where he has suffered for us and you know what that's going to involve me taking over the Church of Holy Sepulchre, no matter what you think. It's not like a, um, please give me permission to take over the Church of Holy Sepulchre. Please give me permission to take over the Dome of the Rock. Please give me permission to be in charge. It's going to be like someday, I don't care if I'm in charge, but my people are going to say, you deserve it. Well done, good and faithful servant. You get to go um, have fun in the Dome of the Rock.